it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Aries this is for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus for the month of June so it's for June okay June I'm not talking about before June this is an old energy this is a preview for June okay so I get some people, and the reason I'm saying this is because I get people that watch this and they want to say, oh, that's old energy. Yeah, you keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again if you don't learn from them. How do you know it's old energy? Is that what you think? Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want to believe? Let's see what's going to happen in June. What do we have for Aries in June? What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in June of 2020? Knowing that this is not old energy. Well, that, isn't that a good one, Aries? That is friggin' fantastic. Considering the Emperor is ruled by Aries. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That is very, very, very difficult for an Aries because you want to be in control. You like to be the boss. You take on that emperor energy. It's a very masculine, dominant, in control energy. You're the ruler, right? You're the boss. Sometimes you got to let go of that need to control. Things are out of your control. Sometimes you need to surrender. Imagine the peace. The peace, the P-E-A-C-E, -E, that you would have if you surrendered and let go of the need to control. So yeah, this is a month where you are going to need to surrender. And it, it probably really, 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 really isn't going to be easy. You can't force it. You can't push it. There's nothing you can do but sit back. You, you take a look at that. There's your emperor right there. And watch. You sit back and you observe. Don't do a thing. Let all the other people do everything. You sit back and observe this month. Do you think you can do that? You notice he's not saying anything. He's just observing. So you are going to need to, t to sit back. Keep your mouth shut. And observe. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Aries? There's nothing to worry about. You notice there's angels here. There's angels in the background. There's protection. Sit back and watch. You don't need to step in. You don't need to do anything. Oh, these just came. Look at this shit. Amazing. They just landed just like that. They just flew right out of the deck. A period of ill health, depression, obstacles to overcome. What are the, what the hell is that? Hold on, I gotta take my glasses off for a second. I don't know if it was ants. Does it look like it's it could be? 
Not sure what that is. Could be trees. Yeah, I think it's trees on the hills. Anyhow, um, yeah, you're going to be facing an obstacle. You're going to be facing an obstacle. You may be depressed. You may be de And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pretend. I'm not just going to, you know, that's what the cards are saying, okay? So there's going to be um, a period of ill health. Um, I, you know, I don't know what is going on, but the, a fly can be, they have, a, have a, symbol, a symbol, you know, it's a symbolic meaning. Um, but there is going to be a period of ill health and there's an obstacle to be overcome. You're going to be facing a challenge. Hills, mountains are challenges. So you're going to be facing a challenge. And it could be your health. It could be your health. Depression. That's a that's a facet of your health. So you're going to be facing something, okay? And and whatever. I'm going to get one more of these round ones. I I whatever it is, is not going to be easy. You're not going to. It's going to be out of your control. Remember, I, I don't know if I said it, if I did or not, but stress kills. Remember, I said the peace that you will find by surrendering. Just don't worry. Whatever happens is meant to happen. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. There is some sort of secrets here. There is. There is. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a mother or the mother of your child. You may be dealing with the mother of your child or with your mother or you may be the mother. There's a mother and child here. I feel like there's some sort of deception. I feel like this person has some secrets. They're hiding it from you and it's going to be you're going to be faced with some sort of challenge in which you are going to need to keep your mouth shut. It's not going to be easy. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see what we have for Aries. You have an obstacle to overcome. Oh, oh, and you remember I said the fly is very symbolic, okay, so, you know, I didn't want to say it, but I'm not sure what is going on, but um, with the death card, which is a transformation, it's a transition, endings lead to new beginnings, so death is a profound change, you are going to, and I feel like it's in the past, I think it's before June. Okay, I'm going to tell you this because we're going to lay the cards out this way. So this is going to be the first card that come out, which is death. So this is something that is happening probably now as you're watching this or before June. Okay, you're going to be dealing with a situation that um, is unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Um... And I think that there's going to be an ending. Okay, this is an ending. There's going to be an ending that changes your direction or it changes your life. This is a major life change. It leads you into a new beginning. But usually death isn't easy. Usually death, usually, not always, is painful. Okay, so something when something ends, it's not easy. Okay, there's a grieving process. There is. So I feel like something is ending that is, is causing a profound change within you. You're probably not happy. You're not satisfied about a relocation. Somebody may be moving, relocating. This is not happy, not satisfied. This isn't what you asked for. This isn't what you wanted. This is a relocation. It's time to go. Time's up. Season's over. The season is over. So something is happening, and I think, I feel like it's, it happens, and maybe by June there's a relocation, okay? Somebody's not happy, they're very dissatisfied, but everything happens for a reason. Now, this is allowing the situation to unfold naturally. I'm not sure what is going on. It may have something to do with a child going with its mother, or being with its mother, or some. I'm not sure. Um, but whatever this is... There is some sort of, of, of relocation. Time's up. Time is up. Um, the end. This is the end. It's the death of a situation. 
that is dissatisfying. There's no happiness there. I feel like you may f be depressed over it. You may be depressed over this ending. Somebody may have left you, or you may have left them, or something. Maybe it even has something to do with children. This is a relocation, going someplace else. This is also um, something coming to fruition. Something, you know, that happened years ago. It's time. It's time. Something about it's time. It's time for to go someplace else. That season of your life is over. Okay. Um, something could happen very suddenly. Very suddenly. It's very suddenly. Like it's, it's act now, think later. Okay. It just happens very, very suddenly. So there's going to be sudden, and it is. Sudden change, sudden sudden movement. This is a card of transformation, and this is a card of transformation. So this is a big, big, huge change. You're headed in a different direction. Somebody's moving too. There's moving. There's there's literally moving, like relocating, packing up, and moving. Whether it's you or your kids or your wife or your husband or who somebody is, somebody's moving. They're moving to a new place. The chariot is um, headed in a new direction, replacing that fear with faith, getting in the driver's seat, taking the high road, finding the willpower and the discipline to control your emotions. Yeah, that's not going to be easy, is it? Especially when you're dealing with some opposition. You're going to be dealing with some opposition this month. Um, there's going to be a sudden change. Something's going to happen. Suddenly, you don't even have time to think. Maybe somebody suddenly moves. They suddenly move. They suddenly, It's like an impulsive decision. Somebody's just ready. They're ready to go. They're ready to go now. And they're going now. You can't stop them. It's out of your control. You can't stop them. So I feel like, you know, there's a big change here that is happening for you. There, This is definitely a transformation. Um, it's a transition. <sighs> Somebody's going someplace else. They're moving. Well, you may be very, very, very upset. Okay, we get the King of Wands reversed. Now, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. But typically, I mean, this is a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This definitely could be you. Somebody that is very self-centered, unreasonable, self-righteous. Ah, uh, the king. Uh, unreasonable. Okay, egotistical. Um, can't reason at all. Unreasonable. Definitely. Un so this person is unreasonable. Some sort of action is being taken. And this person's probably going to get very angry. This could be a father. A father figure. Getting very angry. Um... Losing energy. Uh, maybe it's this this father figure that is getting ill. I don't know. Because this is a loss of energy. A loss of drive. A, la a lack of ambition. Uh, this is also impulsive behavior. Both of these cards. This is impulsive. And this is... Somebody may do something impulsively. And it costs them some money. Or it costs them in some way. This is impulsiveness. Saying goodbye, get prepared, get prepared, and, and just hope for the best. That's all you can do is hope for the best. Somebody may be leaving. Somebody's either either leaving, uh, they're leaving the past behind, focusing on the future. Somebody is definitely leaving, whether it's you leaving somebody or somebody is leaving you, they are leaving, they're moving. They are moving a great distance, okay? This is a great distance. Somebody's moving. And, and this is being upset, getting very, very upset, probably very mad, very upset. Something happens suddenly. It is. It's definitely a sudden ending, I believe. It's not what you asked for. It's not what you wished for. It's not what you wanted. But it's out of your control. There's going to be a departure of some sort. Somebody's just ready. They're ready to go. There's been a delay. There's been too much of a delay. This the, we have the, This is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is dropping out. Uh, no follow through. No plan. Uh, no contingency plan. 
Lazy, we have lazy a couple times here. We have laziness, irresponsible, uh, not qualified for the job. Somebody may not be qualified. They're just not qualified for the job. Could be a father that's not qualified or a masculine. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. But we do have somebody here that's not qualified. Maybe they're too focused on their money. Or they don't have enough money. Or their selfishness. The king of wands in reverse is somebody that is unreasonable. Refuses to budge. Is a know-it-all. Um... Refuses to give an inch. I'm the boss. Take it or leave it. Now, it's like it doesn't work like that. You have to let go. You have to let go of your control issues. Somebody, this is a sudden departure. We have somebody that is very stubborn. Set in their ways. Unwilling to cooperate. And now they're being left. Let's go back to this death card over here. Whew. Queen of Swords reversed. And we all know who the Queen of Swords in reversed is. She's a nasty individual. She's nasty. She, sometimes she lies. You could be dealing with a uh, wife that is bitter. Okay, she's bitter, she's revengeful, she lies, she doesn't tell the truth. She's a pathological liar. This is like a wife or an ex-wife or a girlfriend or somebody that is very nasty. Lies through the skin of her teeth. So this is, um, and she would do anything to get her way. Very, very, very selfish. So this is, and I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. So it's the end of a situation with this person. This person is a pathological liar. Would do anything to get her way. Anything. She's very bitter and revengeful. And she lies. Somebody's dealing with a liar. Sneaky. But that obstacle is being removed. This is there's lie this is lies again. But an obstacle being this person was using blackmail. And it could, it could have been even using the children as blackmail was using blackmail to uh, get what they wanted using the children or something like that. But now I feel like there's it's like seeing the truth or something like that and there's really nothing you can do about it. It's like you know the truth but there's nothing you can do about it. This person is a pathological liar when you know it and I feel like you do know it but this is an obstacle being removed being broken free from this individual so there is some and suddenly departing from this and this is there's a sudden departure from this individual so you're not going to have to deal with this person anymore this person has kept you trapped long enough you this is freedom Consider this your freedom. It really is. You're going to be broken free from this individual. This person didn't make you happy. They held you down. They held you back. They held you back from success. They held you back from happiness. They held you back from uh, growth. They were stunting your growth. Anyway, that season of your life is over and somebody is moving and they're moving to a better place. They're moving to a, a different location. The delay is over. There is a level of huge upset, though, with the King of Wands reverse. Somebody is highly upset and probably sick. A period of ill health like that and depressed because this person has weighed them down. This Whoever you've been dealing with it has been so nasty. This is like an energy vampire. It's like you've been dealing with an energy vampire. Okay, this person sucks, sucks, sucks the energy right out of you. You know, if you want to look up psychic vampire, okay, that's what it is. The psychic vampire. This person has been depleting your energy, making you sick. But I feel like this is freedom, okay, because this is death. Freedom, that is freedom, okay. It's freedom from this vampire, okay. This is, this is breaking free. It really is. So I see you breaking free from this individual. It's like, it's, and it's interesting. It's interesting. I think that you've been, that you have definitely, they have been weighing you down. You've been you've been carrying this person. You've been um, it's been like dead weight. 
Okay, this person has been like, uh, you've been carrying this. You've been carrying this. You've been carrying it for too long. It's just about killing you. It's time to drop it. It's time to let this person go. You can't carry them anymore. They're killing you. There's somebody that you are dealing with that is, is weighing you down and they need to be dropped. You need to drop them from your life. It's time. It's time for you to be free. It's time for you to relax. It's time for you to breathe. So I feel like in June, you are uh, going to be removing this person from your life somehow. This person is, this is an obstacle being removed. You're no longer going to be trapped or tied to this person in the way that you have been. This something happened suddenly as well with that Knight of Wands. It's, this is very sudden. It's like all of a sudden there's a departure. It's, there's a relocation. Uh, it's this it's over it is it is it's over we have somebody here that is very shallow very self-centered very focused on money this person that is focused on money um, it looks like they're being left in the dust Yep, this is being dropped. Somebody is absolutely being dropped. Breaking free. This is freedom. You are breaking free from a situation that you have been tied to. You have been trapped in. It's over. It's over. This is the death of that situation. The very first card, it is the death. Oh my God. It absolutely is the death. It's the death of that situation. It is completely, completely, completely over. This is a collapse. It is. It's like, it's, it's, it's the moment of collapse. I can't do this anymore. You win. You win. It's over. Goodbye. It really is. It's really, really over. This burden, this baggage, this responsibility that you've been carrying, it's done. It's over. So whatever it is that you've been holding on to, it's about to be dropped and you are going to feel instant relief and peace. Get prepared. Get prepared to focus on your future and leave the past completely behind you. So June is a month of release. Release the first okay, the first card and the last card. Release. Breaking free, breaking away from a nasty individual that has stolen your energy for way too long. It's it's like You win. Goodbye. Good luck.